New Year's and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I usually put out beauty related videos like once or twice a week. Today's video is basically sort of like a half cut crease. Um, I haven't done one since my One Palette for a Week series and that one in my opinion was kind of a fail. I really didn't like the color scheme and I kind of struggled a little bit with it so I figured why not give it another go? I wanted to use a palette that I haven't used in a long time and that is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. And I had forgotten how much I really, really like this palette. It's a very easy palette to use. The colors are very, very blendable. Uh, the sparkling shades or the like metallic shades are beautiful and pigmented. And the pack of mean punch, if you ask me. Should I dig into this? Um, plus, it's basically like the end of spring here. And it's getting closer to summer. So I figured in bloom sounded appropriate, you know, to use for today. Even though I don't think my look is very like bright and springy. I'm, I'm it looks a little dark to me. I think this color scheme is a lot prettier. It suits me better, in my opinion, and I feel like my cut my and I feel like my half cut crease um, is a little bit better. I'm still practicing and still trying to get better at it um, and stuff like that. But other than that, I I'm I'm quite pleased with it. I also really like my lip color, even though I struggled to put on lipstick today because I'll be straight up with you guys on an everyday basis. I never. But today I felt like being bold and wearing lipstick, so it was a struggle, but I got it on. It looks nice, so I have no more babbling to do, and uh, let's just get right into this. Yes. Okay, so this is real life. I am still sitting in the bathroom. There will probably be an echo in this video. Again, I apologize. I'm, I'm slowly but surely trying to figure this out. The whole house is carpet, and let's face it, when you tap off the excess of your little brush that's full of eyeshadow, it's gonna get all over the carpet, and I'm not about to do that to my parents. So for now, I'm just gonna be filming in the bathroom for you guys, and I'll try my best not to speak too loud so it doesn't echo too loudly whatever. Also, right across the hallway is the laundry room in this house, so you may hear the washing machine and the dryer go, I am a mom. I do laundry just about every day, and if you're a mom and you do laundry every day, then you totally understand. So, just letting you know, sorry about that, but uh, I mean, such is life, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Cornelius. It's just a matte brown color. It's very, very nice to use as a base. You can tell I've gotten so much more sun because I have a ton of freckles all over my face. I didn't realize I was so freckly until now. First color I'm going to go into is Sweetheart and I'm just going to take my Coastal Scents BRC and 06 brush. I'm just gonna put this into the crease as well as uh, apply a little bit on the lid. Basically, Cornelius and Sweetheart are like exactly the same color. I really like that. That's nice. I like that a lot. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Rebel and I'm going to take a Makeup Geek pointed crease brush and I'm basically just going to focus this color on the outer feet and slowly but surely build it into my crease. Go back in with that first fluffy brush and just blend this out. I'm gonna take a little bit of leader here and again, pack it on the outer feet and then slowly but surely build it into that crease. Picking up a little bit more Sweetheart on this uh, Morphe brush, I am going to sort of apply that right into that crease again, just to blend out the other colors. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Flower Child and Charmer. I'm just gonna mix them both on this brush. This is an AOA Studio E125 brush. I got in a set, and I'm just going to apply that onto the brow bone, sort of smooth out that harsh edge I have going on there. So I'm going to attempt a half cut crease today. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer on my little brush here and uh, do a half cut crease. I go into Funny Girl and I'm just going to lay that color right on top of that concealer. And I'm not gonna set it because I want Funny Girl to really be intense, intense, you guys. Just 
just gonna pick up a little bit of that shade Leader on that uh, on that pointed crease brush from Makeup Geek I've been working with and just sort of blend that little edge in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, well, drop my stuff, clean up a little bit of the fallout that I have, I'll put on my face makeup, and we'll come back for the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into Sweetheart again, and I'm basically just going to run that on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a little bit of Rebel. Then a tiny bit of leader, and I'm only gonna focus leader on the outside of that lower lash line. And basically meet it with this top part. I take any fluffy brush, I honestly just picked one out of the bunch, and again, trying to smoke this out a little bit. I'm gonna take a nude eyeliner and just place that into my waterline. And then I'm gonna skip eyeliner just because honestly, I'm too lazy to do eyeliner, and I'm just going to pack on that mascara today. For inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna go into Funny Girl and pack that in right there. For lips, I'm gonna go in with the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Lovely Frappuccino, and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. Oh gosh, it's, a little, my, it's like my first time lip lining or something because ah, I messed that up big time. I'm fix it, don't worry guys, I'm gonna fix it. On top of that, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hudson. I look like I have really big, big fake lips. Dang it, I really messed that up. I'm still trying to fix it. And this is the finished look, so what do you guys think? That half cut crease looks pretty good, in my opinion. I'm still sort of practicing on it. I don't really do very many half cut creases because my eyes are a little bit more hooded and it doesn't really like suit me in my opinion, but I gave it my best shot. Um, I forgot how much I enjoyed this palette. I have not used this palette in a long, long time. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and uh, if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and spread my love for makeup and I will see you guys uh, sometime later this week or next week. Okay? Yes. Well, bye bye. Please, please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh, honey, though our friendship ceases.